Hello everybody. In today's video, I will show you how you can use Power Automate to export content from tables to Excel. We have already created the flow in Power Automate where we log into an SAP system. The video is linked above. But before we can start, we have to do, to, to do some preconditions. We open the transaction RZ11 in the SAP system and we change the parameter name uh, SAP GUI user scripting to true. So we change the value here, true, and we click on save. Then we close this window. Next, on the, in the sub GUI, we click here on options then on accessibility and scripting, then scripting, and we have to check the enable scripting checkbox. The other three checkboxes we can leave empty. Then we click on apply and OK. OK, so let's start our flow to log into the SAP system. We see here the result are some entries from the table S flight. And now we want to download these um, entries. So we click here on edit, download. We see here shift plus F8 is the key. And now we type here key in the input field actions and we drag and drop the send keys. And then we have to set two brackets. In the first bracket, we write shift. And here we see the pattern. We have to use different brackets. So we have to use here another bracket type and we type here F8. So this is the key command. Okay, after that, this uh, window appears and here we have to pick the spreadsheet radio button. For this again, we type here uh, actions SAP and we drag and drop the click SAP UI element. Then spreadsheet, control left mouse click, click on save. Then we have to click the button here. Again, SAP UI element. To the button, control left mouse click, save. So we go on here. Then we can change the file name, but the file name is OK. So we have to click the export button. Again, click SAP UI element, select SAP element, and again, Control left mouse click, click on save and we click on it and now we can change the directory. Here I want to uh, choose a different directory so I pick here the action populate SAP text field element. We pick here the input field then text to fill my new directory colon backslash tmp and we replace this text okay and after that we have to uh, click on the button generate so again we need the action click sap ui element click here select sap element and again control left mouse click then we click on save so then we can check. Okay, this is a SAP GUI security question. We do this later. So we close all the windows and we check our current flow. So we click on run. Okay, so let's see if it works. SAP GUI system transaction. Okay. Okay, yes, it works to the security question. We click here on remember my decision and allow. And after that, we see Excel is opened with the data in it. So these are the data from the table as flight. Okay, so let's close this Excel. And we close this window and we go to the SAP logon window, click on options, then security and security configuration. We click on the button open security configuration and we see here different rules here two rules with the directory ctmp the last one we can delete and this one we click on edit 
So then we see the action. We click here uh, the pull down menu to allow and then access types. We pick here read, write, execute. Then we click on insert and then OK. So that means we can read and write and execute files from the table uh, from the directory TMP. OK, so we run the flow again to check if it works now. Yes, looks good. Here we are. The data is downloaded. The Excel is opened with the data in it. And we have no more security questions with this folder. OK, so let's close this. And we see here the folder with the different downloaded files. So that works pretty well. And next we can close the SAP session after the export. So we pick here this action, close SAP connection, click on save. And we can try this again. So we launch the SAP GUI, call the transaction, export the data to the Excel and close the SAP connection. So we see the data is exported again and the SAP connection is closed. Then we can save this flow. We can close this window. Here we have our flow overview. And now we can rename our flow, for example, in S-Flight export, S-Flight Excel export. Click on save and we can run this again. And then we see the bottom right Power Automate window. So the flow is running and it works pretty nice. We see the data, the exported Excel. Yes. So we have now created another flow with Power Automate to export data from SAP to Excel. As you can see, it is very simple using drag and drop. Yes, in the end, as always, don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and write something in the comments. Take care and see you in the next video.